to Shark Movies that we reviewed part 2. Last time we left off at Shark Hunter. But now let's review part 15. The Reef. The Reef was a good shark movie. And I really have to say that because I was not joking with this one. It's a good shark movie. It's about a couple people get stranded and they de they have to make a decision whether to stay on the boat and starve to death. Hang on. <coughs> or they can swim in shark infested waters. This was a good shark movie. But let's get on with the next one. I think this one will be a little shocker. So for the next one, for 14, Ghost Shark. Oh boy, a shark gets killed, but then comes back as a ghost shark. And as long as it can swim, as long as there's water, it can go anywhere as long as there's water. This was a good shark movie. Really good. But next one might have shocked you. Might shock you a little. That's because... Jaws 3. Yeah, I know. For, you're probably thinking, why is Jaws 3 at the 13th spot? Because on how good this was, I didn't like it as the first or the second one. Yeah, I just had to say that. I just didn't. It was an awesome movie and all. And you really need to check it out, though. Jaws 3, you're going to really enjoy. But I think you should enjoy this one even more, right? Yeah, because this one, it was insane. Shark Week. Seven days, seven sharks, one survivor. This movie was great. Although, and actually, surprisingly, they actually was able to sneak in Yancey Butler as a cameo. And if you don't know who that is, she played for, she plays in Lake Placid 3, the final chapter, and Lake Placid versus Anaconda. And Shark Week, her being in a shark movie, shocked me. But what even shocked me the most was her being a bad guy, bad person. Although she doesn't go out being killed by a shark. She goes out by being exploded. But anyways, continuing on. Actually shocked, shocked me. Because I thought this would be lower onto the list. But for the 11th spot, it's shark. This actually surprisingly predates Jaws and it's actually a third and this movie it was good shark was a great movie but it was at least first sluggish and slow at the beginning so yeah but next one I just love even more than shark this next one was amazing all right <sighs> For number 10, Shark Night. It was just a good shark movie. Shark Night was perfect. And the fact of it being in 3D was great. So you got all sorts of sharks. You got great whites, hammerheads. You even have bulls and sand tigers. But what shocked me the most was one we would never get to see. The cookie cutter shark. Yes, the cookie cutter shark was in this. It didn't have a big part, but it was nice to see a rare shark in a movie. But next, again, shock somewhat. Shock me too. If you remember on the Jaws 3, I said I didn't like it as much as I did Jaws and the second one. Well, for number 9, it's Jaws 2. This movie, it didn't have this feeling for Jaws. Because by the time they did make Jaws, they already knew how what, how to do Jaws 2. But it was still a good movie. Brody comes back. 
to kill the shark again. Roy Scheider, the person character who plays Brody, comes back. And oh boy, was it a fun time! Shark Jaws 2 is a great shark movie. Go check it out. Next, however, for number eight. Actually, was that quite surprising to you? For number eight, it's Blue Demon. Yes, Blue Demon was a good shark movie. You have five genetically dangerous great white sharks on the loose, hunting in packs, and Blue Demon just gave me that feeling that it was a good shark movie. For number seven, this one was, again, a good shark movie. Because you would never get to see this shark ever again. Malibu Shark Attack and it's Goblin Sharks. We never see Goblin Sharks in movies. But this movie did us a favor and did just that. Goblin Sharks are, like, cool. But number six actually probably surprised you guys. Sharknado, I found very interesting. So when I had to choose which one had to be for number six, Sharknado or Sharknado 2, I put both of them on the sec on the sixth part. Because they were just so great. And like I said on Sharknado 2, the tornadoes are the same. Sharknado and Sharknado 2 are great. They're good shark movies. And I really think you should check these two out. First watch the second, the first one. And then go watch the second one. But, for number five. Hold on. For number five, this one actually kind of was a little more serious. Because it was for real. This actually happened in real life. 12 Days of Terror. It was about a great white shark that terrorized the beaches of New Jersey. And no joke, this was actually a real story. There was real, a real great white shark that was killing a bunch of people on the shores of New Jersey. The movie was great, and it gave us a different kill for the shark. It was just like how normal people go fishing. They catch the shark, and they hang it up, and boom, the shark is dead. But what got me more thinking is, how does a shark that can only survive in salt water swim through a lake? Unless the lake is like fresh, salty lake. Salt lake. Anyways, continuing on for four. Number four. We are into the top four, everyone. Number four came no surprise for me. Bait! That's right. Bait 3D came in the number four spot because it was perfect. I loved the way Bait was. It's a good shark movie. You need to check Bait out. This is great. Bait is really good and it's just amazing. But for number three, we actually reviewed today. But the reason why I put it for number three spot is because it didn't have an effect on me as the other two. The Shallows. Yes, we reviewed The Shallows today, and it was perfect. I absolutely loved this shark movie, the tension and how it was made. The Shallows was good, although it wasn't for the top two. Speaking of top two, the one I told you when we first reviewed the, my most favorite shark movie in the entire world. Hang on. In the entire world. Hey, hang on. So you had to sneeze. Anyways, my favorite shark movie in the entire world, Shark Swarm. I loved this movie. Not because it was my first shark movie, but because, again, it used a shark we never seen. Threshers. We never get to see a thresher. Sh but Shark Swarm, great. But there was one movie that outdid everything of all these movies nothing can compare can compare not even to this day can compare to what this movie had became are you ready for number one best shark movie you need to see 
Jaws. The way they made Jaws was perfect. Even though you don't get to see the shark until like an hour in, you still need to watch it because this movie was perfect. The thigh, the tension, Jaws is this. Jaws was better than Shark Swarm. And that was saying something because Shark Swarm was my first and favoriteest movie of them all. Jaws, you need to check this movie out. You will love Jaws. It's great. Jaws is the best shark movie that is ever made so far. It's been the best. No other movies can compare to Jaws and can even beat Jaws. All right, but there was there is one movie that's going to be up to here with the Jaws. Meg coming next year, 2018, August 10th. Many people say it's just it's hyped up. Just like Jaws, but still, nothing will ever compare to Jaws. Jaws is the best shark movie ever made. Anyways, now that we're done, let me put my movie back. Now that we're done with these shark movies, I need to give you guys a quick announcement. On Sunday, we'll be reviewing spider movies, and we'll be doing the same, even though, but there's less spider movies, so it'll be quicker. But Jaws is the best. Also, also, one last thing. Hang on, pause. And one last thing. This is not the end for Shark Movie Reviews. We get more, we review them. But in that case, bye-bye.